<clears throat> okay, I'm going to do a real quick video here. There's been a little bit of confusion with the battery meter for the Titan because it uses a little bit different battery meter. Uh, and I've included, or I've put a typical battery meter up here that measures uh, off of voltage, determines the uh, battery state of charge based on the voltage of the battery. This is used in most systems because it's uh, fairly easy to use um, and they're really inexpensive. Now we went with a different battery meter on the Titan. The Titan uses what's called a column meter and is what that does is that uh, essentially uh, meters out how much power is coming in or out of the battery and then calculates the state of charge based on that. Now there are a couple of things you need to do for this to work accurately. The first one is the meter has to be programmed to the size of your battery, how many amp hours it is. Now one Titan battery is 74 amp hours. The Titan will normally come programmed uh, for that. To program it, you just push the OK button for a couple of seconds and you can check the, uh, the settings right there. It's at 74 amp hours, so it's good. Um, the next thing is, is this uh, meter has to be calibrated. It needs to initially be set at either full or empty uh, so that it can know what state of charge it's in to begin with. Otherwise, it's not accurate. Um, if I took this battery or this Titan right now and put it on a, a battery that's almost empty, uh, this is still going to read 95% because it doesn't know that that battery is empty because it hasn't measured what's gone out of it. Um, uh, now this, uh, this voltage based meter does not have that problem because if you put it on a lower charged battery the voltage is going to be lower. But the reason why we went with the column meter is because it's much more accurate when you're actually using the system. And I'm going to kind of demonstrate this for a second. I've got a heater plugged in to the Titan and I'm going to turn it on. Okay, it's on right now. Uh, as you can see we're pulling 1.8 kilowatts from the battery. Um, this started out at 95%. I think that was 93. Um, so we're using a little bit of power, but as you notice, this dropped way down. It's down to 76%. Now we've only run that heater for a few seconds. Obviously, we didn't use almost a quarter of our battery in 10 seconds. So this is not very accurate when there's a load on. Um, and that's the main reason. If, there, if there's a load or if you're charging this basically is totally unreliable um, because it's because the battery's voltage will fluctuate depending on the load whereas if you notice this this is just slowly counting down as we use the power it's going to give you that percent which is very very accurate and uh, so it's very nice that way but it does need to be calibrated like I mentioned before and so uh, if your Titan is new or if you've changed the battery or you've changed the capacity or made any changes or even if you've charged it with the Titan shut off or discharged it or something with this meter turned off, uh, it's not going to know that that's happening, so you'll have to recalibrate it. Now, it's not too hard. I'm going to shut this off now. Okay, as you see, that was down to 70%. All of a sudden, look at that, jumped right up to 83. And after time, that'll come up and probably be a little uh, around that level that this one is. Um, but it's, as you can tell, that's not very accurate under loads. Same thing would go as if you're charging. So you plug solar in, plug an AC charger in, or something like that. Um, this is going to shoot right up uh, where this will stay more steady. Um, now I want to show you something. So, so there is the option on here to automatically set this capacity to either zero or 100% by holding these buttons down. And I'm going to just show you how that works. So I hold that down for a few seconds. Now 0%. Now that doesn't mean the battery is 0%. I just set it to that. Um, and just to kind of show you how this works. And I've plugged an AC charger in here. So I'm going to show you what you should do. You don't have to set that to 0. But uh, plug an AC charger in. Uh, turn it on. We're going to turn it on now. Okay, so I just turned it on. You can kind of hear that fan going. Uh, it's charging 514 watts. Now this one jumped right up to 92%, 93, um, whereas this one's going to be a little bit slower because it's not going to jump to 
until this battery is full because I set it down at zero. That's one way you can tell once it's calibrated this will go up to 100%. Um, but if you're already at reading 100%, the only way to know is to either set that down to zero and wait till it goes up to 100%, or uh, on the AC charger, I'll just show you this real quick, if you can see this. I don't know if that's going to be in focus. Uh, you have these two LEDs. One of those will turn green when it's fully charged, and that's actually more accurate than even going off of this, because once this battery voltage hits 29 volts, this is going to reset to full, um, and then it's going to keep charging a little bit even past that. So the, the, the AC charger is actually more accurate at telling you when it's full than this will be, but this will be pretty close. Now until this gets full though, you know, this is, we put in 0.3 amp hours still at 0%. Obviously that's not accurate. This is closer, um, but anyway, that's kind of the, the deal with that is if you want this meter to be accurate, you've got to um, calibrate it. Now I do want to mention one other thing. Um, some people worry about you go in here and change some settings and they're going to mess up the way the Titan works. Uh, the only thing you can mess up in this meter is what you see here. Uh, the Titan will still work perfectly fine no matter what settings you've got on the meter. The meter does not really control anything internally. Uh, it's just a display to show you what's going on uh, with the battery and how much power you're drawing, how much power you're charging. Um, things like that, but it will not mess up, you know, your charging or anything like that, uh, or your discharging. So uh, this is only for you to know what's going on. It doesn't adjust any internal settings of the the Titan. Um, anyway, I hope that makes sense, and uh, we'll just wait here for a minute and let this get fully charged. So you'll see this is gonna. Since I set it to empty and it was really about 95% full. Um, this is only going to get up to maybe 5% uh, and then it's going to automatically jump to 100% once that voltage gets full. Uh, so we'll just hold on here for a minute and uh, watch this. Okay, we're getting very close to getting this fully charged. Um, I can tell because, well, we're at six percent, which I set it down to zero, and we were only about five or six percent under. Um, and it's also reading 29 volts on the voltage. Um, and that's where it's going to adjust to being fully charged really soon. So, okay, as you can see there, we just adjusted it it realized that it's 100 percent full and it calibrated um, now as you can see this is still putting in 167 watts and if you look on here both leds are still red okay so that means it's still charging and you're going to get a little bit more in uh, but for all intents and purposes this is full, uh, the meter is now calibrated. Um, and now it will be accurate from now on, unless you charge it without this on, or you change the battery, or you change um, a setting on here, this will be calibrated for your battery. And so I'm gonna shut this charger off. <clears throat> okay, so, so the battery is uh, now charged and um, and this one, as you can tell, is pretty close to 98%. So they're both pretty good. Um, but again, it, now if we put a load on here, you'll see that this drops really fast. And this is still 100%, you know. So this will slowly go down and be a much more accurate than this one. Now if you have more than one battery, so if you have two of these batteries and you want to balance them um, so that they so you can stack them because you need to balance them before you stack one on top of the other. Just go through that process for each battery, um, charge it up till this is uh, calibrates to 100%. Um, um, if you 
if you set that down to zero and wait till it, it jumps up then you know it's done otherwise you can just watch the voltage and make sure it goes up to 29 or even better yet watch the green light on the AC charger uh, and anyway do the exact same process with both batteries then put them on top stack them on top of each other turn it on and if you have the if you have the capacity right for the batteries it'll all be done if if something did go wrong and you have them already stacked then you can just put the Titan on and uh, charge them both up together uh, and it'll calibrate both together as well so if you have to change this or something like that just essentially just charge it all the way up so as you can see after running that heater for just a minute uh, this is down to 79 where that's 99 percent so much more accurate um, you know especially if you're watching your meter and uh, you don't realize maybe a fridge kicked on or something turned on and all of a sudden you're you look up there and this is showing 50 percent when you're really at 90 percent it could be a little frustrating if that happens so anyway that's why we use this meter and um, that's how you calibrate it and get it working um, all right hopefully that helps